Morning, welcome to BTV, where we cover news for the students, by the students. I'm Nihar, here with Becton's October's monthly news report. In today's story, we highlight the recent presidential debates from September 29th. There is certainly a debate worth watching. Don't forget, this week begins the vice president debates that will continue for the next few weeks through October. Seniors who are turning 18, be sure to go out and vote, as every vote counts. For more information, check out Becton's Cat Eye View for some ways to register and vote. Hey, do you have a TikTok account? I sure do. This leads us to another big controversial topic, whether or not TikTok is getting banned in the United States. Back in August, there was a 40, there was a 45 day order for any US company to purchase TikTok. And now as recently, there hasn't been any offers. Earlier, TikTok was going to get banned off the App Store, but rumor has, has it, TikTok has been bought by Oracle. As more information starts to surface, we will be sure to keep you informed. Now over to Lucas and Juan Carlos for our senior spotlight and teacher feature. Um, well, I've always wanted to become a teacher, but the reason why I chose English was because I had a English teacher in high school that really showed me that like you can take literature and interpret it any way you want, and that's how I want to teach it to my students. So I actually have two majors that I graduated with in college, and one is English and the other is special ed. So I wanted to do both of them, so I decided to do both of them which is why I don't only teach English at Becton, I also teach the resource classes, which are special education. So the number one thing I wanna to teach to all my students is my teaching philosophy, which is that every student is capable of achieving what they want, and it's just the matter of finding what they excel at and then doing the best for it. Too, my door is always open, my email is always open, so I'm always just wanting to make sure that they know that they're comfortable and welcome in my classroom. It gives me great pleasure to announce October 2020's Student of the Month, Nadia Dabrgowski. Nadia's inquisitiveness and motivation contribute to her strong work ethic and desire to learn. Throughout her high school career, she has pushed herself to her maximum potential, allowing her to reach all of her goals. She is currently ranked second in her class and has an overall GPA of 103. This student has taken a very challenging course load of study during her years here at Beckton. Last year, while taking two AP courses and two honor courses, Nadia earned close to 106 GPA. This year, Nadia is challenging herself with an AP Biology and Calculus Honors course. This student has attained high honor roll status for her entire high school career. Last school year, her lowest grade was a 99. This student is extremely hardworking and committed to her academics and was even inducted last school year into the National Honor Society. Nadia's effort, hard work, and commitment will allow her to continue to succeed in her future. I'm extremely proud to congratulate Nadia Dabrogowski as October's Student of the Month. Congratulations, Nadia. Another news, after months and months of closures due to the pandemic, the American Dream Mall finally opened. Nickelodeon Universe, the DreamWorks Water Park, Big Snow, and the stores are now open to the public. The graduating class of 2020 was lucky enough last year to explore the American Dream during the grand opening before COVID. But as a reminder, if you go, please be safe, social distance, and please keep those masks on. October is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Be sure to show your support and wear pink throughout this month. See our Beckton website for more ways to help and support future research. For any seniors who haven't joined the yearbook classroom yet, the code is 4MB3GS4. Baby pictures were already due October 1st, so if you didn't submit a photo, you have already missed out. Please log in so you don't miss any more updates regarding this year's yearbook. You enjoy yoga? You have more than one way to go and stretch. Miss Gatto will be offering in-person classes in our wellness center as well as virtually online. You can follow her on Twitter at Beckton Wellness.
We Fall Sports finally resume. The boys soccer team plays on October 1st and the Beckton's football team is scheduled to play on October 2nd against Woodridge. On another note, Miss O'Driscoll is encouraging a fall spirit day. Show your support by wearing any Beckton Wildcat apparel and send a quick 5-10 to 10 second video or a selfie picture showing off your school spirit. To participate, send Miss O'Driscoll an email jodriscoll at beckdenhs.org. Now for the weather forecast. Starting off with Monday, it's going to be in the mid-70s. Starting off Tuesday, it's going to be around 73, a little bit cloudy. Wednesday, it's going to be a 75, nice sunny day. Thursday, it's going to be 66, so a little bit colder than the other days, but still nice for sweater weather. Friday and Friday, is going to be a 62, so definitely the lowest day is going to be Friday. So make sure you wear a sweater, wear comfortable clothes, and be safe out there. And always remember, wear your mask. Now back to the news. At least we'll have a few nice days this week. Dr. Sforza welcomes a baby boy named Luca into the Sforza family. Congratulations to him, his wife, and two daughters. That's going to do it for this week's report of Beckton TV. I'm Nihar. Tune in next month and have a blooming Beckton October day.